right then guys Lambretta vlog time We're back It's uh, well you'll know because I've up, just uploaded video it's February now it's the first vid I've done in absolutely ages so apologies as usual I always say this at the start of every vid sorry it's been ages and that um, uh, yes, yeah, so right, anyway, it's been ages and that, like it always is, but it has been absolutely shitty weather. This is probably the best day we've had so far, give or take. Uh, and I've had loads and loads of other shit going on. Uh, oh, it's a bit flooded down here. Other shit going on that I'm not going into. Right, anyway, I've got my disc brake fitted, so we're going to stop down here and just give you a quick look at it. I'll show you it here. Right, so I've fit the disc brake to this. I came down here and showed you some on this before. It's a bit out of the way. Right, so this is disc brake, <coughs> here. So this was the worst nightmare I've ever had to fit, to be quite honest. I've got a hidden master cylinder DC because I ain't got the master cylinder on the bars here, because I don't like look of that big block. So my cable now runs down underneath all of this, goes under the back of there, and you won't be able to see it because it's too sort of dark underneath there and light outside, but I'll take a photo and I've made a little bracket to mount the, uh, you know, the actuator thing, the plunger thing. So it, it goes all the way down there in cable, transfers into, you know, converts into hydraulic down there and then comes back up around this really long hose that I probably should have made shorter. Uh, right, so it works quite well, but it's not great by any means. Um, it's nowhere near as good as just a straight on hydraulic um, disc like, but it's quite a big improvement on the drum. So I'm happy enough with it. It was just a lot of dicking about. I had to get help off John up at Wakey Scooters and stuff to get it sorted. But I'll show you that bracket at some point so you'll know how you might be able to get away with it. But it wasn't even my idea to put it under there. It was a company called Oil Tech. Um, John told me about it and I just looked on their website and sort of got the inspiration, stole their idea. Sorry about that, Oil Tech. I don't think I'll be uh, competing with you anytime soon though when you see the effort that I've made. But anyway, right, so that's that. It's really windy guys, sorry if it's a bit loud and that. Can't do all the bad hits. I was just dying to get out. Scooter's going well anyway. Started first kick today but I have started it a couple of times over the past few weeks. Um, just to make sure it's all alright really but... Seems fine so far. So, in other news, I have put, I don't know if I've shown you my damper either, I should have shown you that there. I put an adjustable damper on by just because I had a bit of cash. Um, so I wanted to buy one. And mine were uh, shot anyway, so I thought, well, if mine's gone, now's the time to upgrade. Rather than just buy another one for, you know, quite cheap. Thought I'd get myself a decent one. Uh, yes, I'm totally out of fucking practice for riding, really. Like going around bends and stuff, I can barely I remember how to do it. Bird in there. Swing. Um, and it's like, you know, it's like riding a bike, you don't really forget, but fucking hell. Look at this guy. Woo! You know, you're just out of practice, it's like anything else. But yeah, cheers for uh, your messages and stuff, anyway, of a. Uh, thing on Instagram and on here. It's good to know you're still out there. I'm still here. It's just like I say, it's been totally unsuitable. I mean, today's a bit of a fucking nightmare ride. It's all over the bloody place here. But we're doing it. At least we're out doing it. So I'm just going to have a little quick ride around Aubrey. Make sure everything's all right. Uh, I ain't got a big enough jumper on. I know that much cold already and I've been out less than five minutes. Get this for positioning. So what else? So I've got a damper and that, that's on. In all honesty, you couldn't tell a really much of a difference. <laughs> much of a difference initially. So I started messing with it and sort of made it stiffer. 
and I could tell when I'd made it too stiff and then I took it all the way off and I could tell when it was too sort of soft and that. So I ended up just sort of putting it somewhere in the middle, which I imagine is sort of what a standard damper would be like. <laughs> uh, yeah, what else? We're going to Whitby. 100% I'm going to Whitby this year, camping in a tent. I'm going to be freezing and really, really drunk. So if you're there, watch out for us. In fact, I'll put, there'll be some more vids closer to time, but what we should do is like, if you're at, if you're at Whitby, put a message on YouTube or message me and say, look, I'm at Whitby. That's if you want to get a sticker or whatever, or you want to have a quick beer. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you're not all rushing to come and meet the Gennai Million, but I don't know. Some of you might want to have a quick pint. I don't know. It'd be nice to meet some of you. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't know how fast it goes. This aren't properly clocked it on GPS. Uh, before Christmas, I was totally gunning it about really, really fast and all that. Um, oh, I busted the clutch as well. I uh, burnt the clutch out, but the clutch plates I'd been in for probably a year and a half, and I don't exactly take it easy, as I'm sure you know. So I, uh, I set off up this really long straight, but it was like uphill a bit, and I just thought, oh no. The scooter were revving more and more, but not going any quicker, and I thought, oh, and that's the clutch gone. And it was absolutely miles up this road as well. And it was night time, and it was a dual carriageway, so there were no, and there were no lights on it. So luckily, oh, doggy dogs. Luckily, the, uh, though the clutch had gone, the engine were fine, you know, the engine ran. So I had to just sort of keep, because it just ticks over quite nicely, it stays running. So I had to keep the engine running in order to keep the lights on. Uh, to push it up this really dark dual carriageway with cars flying past it was just like Jesus man it was just like I thought we were going to die to be honest I thought I'm not going to make it but as you can see I did so that was an event so I changed the clutch anyway I didn't do it I'd, I was looking at an AF cassette clutch but they were too expensive they were about I think they're 300 odd quid and then there were this so, I don't know, did they call it a scorpion red one or something? I saw that somebody was recommending. I thought, yeah, they look all right, these, but I think they were about four. So, yeah, so I just got a, uh, like, an uprated five-plate five plate thing, but it was thin as steel, so you don't have to modify anything. It didn't need a different basket or spider or anything like that. So that literally went straight, my old one straight out, straight in with this. It didn't need any setting up, it was exactly sort of, sort of as I'd left it, so I just thought that is brilliant. And uh, it's, it's been alright, it's been alright, it hasn't slipped her out yet, and I've been giving it a bit. I need to sort of start get, getting away from just revving knackers off it all the time, because it's not a racing bike. I forgot what I was saying there. Well, that was it, wasn't it? Got, I put a new clutch in at the end. True story. Nothing to report. So what you lot been doing anyway, that's the, the next thing. I can't remember everyone's name now, but thanks to everybody who's following me on Instagram and who posts bits and bats. Um, my Vespa, what is it, my Vespa 72? I can't remember off the top of my head now. I'll, I'll write it underneath if that's wrong. You know, people like that, I know he's got a, he's on the back end a little bit going. He's got a YouTube channel going, I think, which I will put a uh, thingy to. I'll write his address underneath mine. Ooh. Oh, hey. oh no. Oh, no! We're all right, we're on a scooter. These all wish they had a lamp right up. So I think he's got a channel going. He's definitely got a bit of a thing going on Insta, on Instagram. So you can check him out on there. Uh, and everybody else. So yeah, I do sometimes put pictures on Instagram more, well, more often than I put vids out, which isn't hard to do, is it? With my track record, as I'm sure you know. Back through Aubrey, back down home, before we get wet. Done about enough for what I wanted to do today, I didn't want to go far. 
and it's, it's served purpose, this is it, I just wanted to say welcome back and that, welcome back to the vids, I promise that I will be doing more vids this year, as I say, so that'll be alright, working men's, been spending a few hours in there over the last couple of months, I'll tell you, I will tell you, if you're in Aubrey, call it the Harbury working men's, uh, yeah, right, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, so uh, as I said, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with us and all of that, like I say, every time, subscribe, get a thumbs up and all of that, if you feel that way inclined, still got many, many, many stickers left if anyone wants a sticker, I'll put details in there if I had to do that, uh, that'll be it, right, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.